in Ewing. A woman who suffered through human trafficking and modern slavery in the UK is calling on the government to do more to help people like her return to a normal life. LBC News reporter Josh Giltrap has the rest of this story. Today is the 10th National Anti-Slavery Day since it was introduced by Parliament to raise awareness about the need to eradicate slavery, human trafficking and exploitation. But the charity Kellyanne, which supports victims of these crimes, says the government's approach to how they're tackling this still needs a lot of work. Anna Neen came to the UK in 2017 2016 as a migrant domestic worker with a family from Saudi Arabia. She worked both in their home doing childcare but also for their business as well, all for no money. She told me more about her experience. They made me work 18 hour days. They did not give me enough food to eat and I had to sleep on the floor. They did not pay me for my work in the UK, so I decided to run away one day. I did not know anyone or how I would look after myself or my family in the Philippines. Fortunately, after running away, she got help from Kalayan to get assistance from the Home Office through the National Referral Mechanism, which is an interim support process for potential victims of modern slavery and human trafficking while their claims are being considered. At first, she wasn't successful, and during her appeal, her work visa expired in the time it had taken to reconsider and change their mind about her trafficking and asylum claims. Avril Sharp works for Kellyanne and told me Anna's case is a stark example of what needs to be done and why it's so urgent that the NRM is reformed. Anna Lynn's case is not unique. The majority of migrant domestic workers who learn of Kellyanne or the National Referral Mechanism do so once their visa has already expired, meaning they cannot work whilst their claims are being considered. If the government is serious about its claim to be a world leader in supporting and protecting victims of modern slavery, it must let all survivors work to assist in their recovery. The alternative is to force them to live off £35 a week and have their mental health deteriorate. Our campaign to let survivors work in the NRM was launched last year on the 18th of October for Anti-Slavery Day. 12 months later, and we are renewing our call to the government to let survivors work. The Home Office responded to the charity to say that the government will await their review on letting asylum seekers work before reviewing whether to bring in anything for victims of trafficking. Josh Kiltrap with that report for LBC News.